Hello dear students, welcome to Europedia. Today I am going to discuss one question from power systems that was asked previously in HP interview. That is from power systems. And in fact this question is very famous in uh, electrical engineers. So if you ask any electrical engineer, yes they might have heard about this question. That much famous it is. But many people will misunderstand the question. First of all, what is that question? What is that uh, good question? Yes, let me write here. What is, what is the difference between, what is the difference difference between grounding and earthing yes grounding and earthing grounding and earthing yeah from english meaning point of view grounding and earthing both looks like synonyms but there is a lot of lot of difference what is uh, uh, grounding between grounding and earthing. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, the concept is really beautiful to understand what is the uh, meaning of grounding and earthing. First, let's understand what is earthing. First, let's understand what is earthing. So, if you look at uh, your uh, household uh, sockets, if you look at at your household sockets, okay, there is one big pin. And there are some two small pins like this socket, power socket. In fact. Uh, the equipment what you are taking, suppose if you take iron box, which is uh, used to press the clothes, uh, that is having uh, three plugs like this, three plugs. So three pins, uh, plug is going to have three pins. One is the uh, thicker one, uh, thicker one and it is somewhat uh, uh, forward when compared to means, uh, if, if you look my three fingers, uh, so this finger is somewhat, uh, uh, this finger is somewhat fr in front when compared, uh, forward when compared to these two. Okay, I I'll show you. I am taking iron box here, I am taking iron box here. So please uh, treat uh, what I'm drawing it as iron box. I'm not that good at drawing, but I'm drawing. This is the iron box, yes. And uh, this is the holder what you're holding. And what what will be there inside of the iron box? Ma? What will be there inside of the iron box? There will be a heating element. What is what iron box will do? It will take electric power. That electric power will be converted to uh, heat. Yes, there is a heating element. Simply, I'll show that one as a resistance. To that heating element, yes, we have to give power. We have to give power. Then there, in iron box, there is one more uh, wire, third wire, thick wire, thick pin, not wire, thick pin. So only two wires are needed, no? What about the third one? See, uh, I'll draw your diagram also, your figure. Yes, you are the person. You are the person. Yes, holding the iron box. Holding the iron box. Yes, you are holding the iron box here. You are holding it. Okay, now see this is phase, this is a phase wire. I can write uh, this is the phase wire and this is the neutral wire. This phase is connected to phase, yes, this is phase and this neutral is connected to neutral, happy, neutral is connected to neutral pin. Now, due to some reason, due to some reason, if this phase got connected to the body, body, yes, the phase got connected to body. Now, if you see, your your body is in touch with the body of the iron box. So, see, I'll draw with some different color, with some different color. You see, here, this is your body. See, this is the phase, this is the phase, that phase is this one. And your body is connected to the phase connected to ground you are going to get shock or not very much yes you'll get shock yes yes it is very much yes now how to avoid it how to avoid it we'll do one thing we'll do one thing to avoid that one see this pin is connected to earth at your home okay this pin means if you take your socket now if you take your socket that socket, this particular pin is connected to earth. That's why this is called earth, earth pin. This is earth pin. Yes, this is a earth pin. Okay. Now, I'll do one thing. I'll take one wire. I'll take one wire. I'm taking one wire. So, which color? Yeah, I'll take one wire. 
that wire see i'll connect it to the entire body of the iron box entire body and i'll take that and i'm going to connect that one to earth pin now observe now observe the circuit carefully see you must be very carefully observing now if you observe yeah now phase is connected to now phase is uh, connected to see this uh, phase is connected to body okay but this phase is having two parts now this phase is having two parts one is one is phase to the body to you is one way to you is one way another way is phase to the body yes to the earth wire to the earth pin to the earth so it is having two parts observe it one path is to your body through your body to the ground another path is through the earth wire to the earth pin which is a low resistance path uh, through the earth wire to the earth pin why because uh, wire resistance is very low we design that's why the thickness of that uh, earth wire and earth pin is more why because uh, it has to accommodate the fault current the fault current value is very high and uh, see the length of that earth pin is more why because before these two phase and neutral enters into the plug this will go and touch if there is any fault current before these two get affected or these two get connected the fault current will be grounded to this one okay so now here there are two parts see now i am drawing in the form of circuit here the phase the phase this is phase is having two parts one is through your body to the ground another is to earth pin to the ground now which one is a low resistance path human body resistance will be in terms of kilo ohms this resistance is almost zero ohms therefore entire this phase is connected to ground instead of through your body you got protected from the short circuit or from the hazard electric shock our thing is used to protect uh, see our thing is used for the for the purpose of protection from from electric shocks so earthing of equipment we will do any equipment we take it must have earthing means what entire that body will be connected to one wire that that wire is given to the thickest pin of the plug and that plug is kept that the thickest pin will be kept in the thickest hole of our socket that thickest hole of our socket at home is connected to earth pit so that so that electric shock will not happen to the persons or live bodies so what is earthing ma earthing is connecting the equipment body to the ground to avoid electric shocks that is earthing let me write let me write so understand this diagram carefully so many of you might be wondered being an electrical engineer see uh, when you join in the first year of your engineering or in diploma you start thinking okay uh, i am an electrical engineer the, the day you go to your home you you will be observing a lot of electrical equipments then uh, questions lot of questions will pop up in your mind by thinking that what what is this pin why is this pin what is earth, what what is neutral what is phase lot many things right so this is one of that question that much good question it is so what is earthing earthing is done let me write so earthing it is done for the body of the equipment for the body of the equipment we have to see see it is done for the body of the equipment to reduce or to avoid to avoid electric shock electric shock after this we have to see what does it mean by grounding what does it mean by grounding let's understand now what is a grounding then yeah grounding is also connecting to the ground but neutral of the generator must be connected to ground that is called as grounding let's see i have a three phase synchronous generator like this i have a three phase synchronous generator three phase synchronous generator this is the neutral of the generator that is the neutral of the generator yes yes if we are connecting neutral of the generator to the ground 
with the help of either resistance or reactance or Peterson coil or solid grounding means resistance is equal to zero this process connecting neutral of the generator to the ground is called as a, connecting the neutral of the generator to the earth is called as neutral grounding grounding means neutral grounding see uh, let me write that also let me write that also yes let me write that connecting what, what does it mean by grounding grounding yes grounding connecting connecting neutral of the generator to earth is called as is called as grounding or neutral grounding there are several methods of neutral grounding resistance grounding reactance grounding peterson coil grounding and solid grounding so for different different applications different different grounding methods are used okay what is the purpose of this grounding we understood that our thing is to protect uh, from shocks electric shocks right then what is the purpose of this neutral grounding if there is no neutral grounding there is no closed path for the flow of fault current so neutral grounding is done for the flow of fault current for the for the closed path suppose if their fault occurs here lg fault occurs here now fault current fault current will have a closed path closed path like this if neutral is not grounding there is no closed path for the flow of fault current then the fault current will flow through the transmission line capacitances which is leading in nature because of which phase voltage will rise up to line voltage which is called as arcing arms or arcing grounds due to which insulation will fail therefore neutral of the every three phase electrical equipment must be grounded okay to to reduce the unbalance effect also yes we are we are making neutral of the generator connecting to grounding so that for definitely every three phase system uh, three phase system equipment neutral must be grounded if neutral is available suppose if it is delta connection neutral itself is not available there is no question of neutral grounding but if it is a star connection star connected equipment then definitely neutral must be grounded so this is the solid difference between grounding and earth thing please do not treat those two as the same both are very much different thank you